Let's talk about props. I know that finding props for your product photography can be really hard at times. I know from experience because when I started, I didn't know where to buy that stuff. I just found some things on Amazon and online, but there weren't any like companies that will sell all I needed. I had to just look everywhere really. I ordered, I didn't like it, it wasn't very good quality, I had to order a new one, find another place and this was an ongoing process for months and months and months. But that's why I'm here today because I want to share with you my favorite brands and places and companies where I go buy my props or where I bought them and I was really happy with the quality and I was really happy with how the props looked on the pictures so all the recommendations I'll be showing you today are my sincere sincere opinions. Uh, this video is not sponsored but I was able to still get you 15% off for two brands and companies I'll be mentioning today. Everything will be linked in the description so you go check it out afterwards. Uh, there will be links to certain products as well as links to whole websites and everything what you need will be essentially in the description. Some of the links might be affiliate links, like for example my Amazon are affiliate links, but that means I will receive a small percentage of the purchase for no extra cost to you. So this doesn't mean it's going to be more expensive because you buy it through the link. No, 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 it's still the same price. Uh, I just get a little like two free pence of that so <laughs> that's not gonna save me but it's still very nice so if you want to buy anything use those links in the description <laughs> okay without further ado uh, let's jump into the video and let me show you all the props that I'm using and you know let's start first let's talk about backdrops you know I mentioned in many of my videos that I'm using backdrops or a uh, mount boards, uh, paper material backdrops from Pullingers, but I use that mostly for beauty photography. What I want to really mention today, specifically for product photography, are vinyl backdrops from Club Backdrops. Now I have many of them, I think about 15 to this day already, and they have a great selection of um, solid color backdrops, but also these kind of patterns. You know, it's this is amazing to combine with another solid color backdrop, for example, solid on the bottom, and then use this marble as a background. And I love them because they are great quality, you know, it's sturdy vinyl. For products, that's amazing because you can spill water on it, you can spill oil, makeup, foundation, anything, and then you just easily wipe it off and it's like new. So these are all that I have and I use them in many, many, many of my projects for clients or just for my personal stuff. These are 60 to 90 centimeters, so those are the smaller ones and the club backdrops also has three for two um, offer. There's also a link in the description. If you buy through that link, you'll get extra 15% off. They are really, really beautiful and I'm absolutely happy with the quality. I also have a larger ones to 90 to 120 centimeters and I use them for beauty photography as well. Uh, they are matte vinyl. As I mentioned, they are vinyl, but they are matte vinyl. They're still going to be a little shine depending on how you angle the light against that product um, and against that backdrop, but there's nothing to, you know, Nothing too concerning. I was easily able to shoot product photography with this and I still continue using them all the time. These actually, uh, together with the green one, are made to request. So I requested specific colors from Pantone or you can use a hex code or any other like RGB codes of the colors. You can get exact the shade that you need. So that's amazing as well. And the guys in the club backdrops are amazing they are so sweet and kind and the customer service is on point when you receive those the club backdrops is it comes in a roll so i still have these big ones in my roll and inside is like a little thank you note specifically with your name handwritten and it's like also cute some stickers as well there's only one small tiny little downside i can mention uh, those backdrops come like this and you see they have a white strip on the top with the name, so this is Rococo. They also have the strip on the bottom, 
so sometimes I want to use them you know with the short edge against another backdrop but this like it's very disturbing so I usually use the long edge but if it's specific backdrop with specific pattern or something this might be a little bit distracting you know this white strip but easy solution you just take the scissors and cut it off but make sure you cut it you know straight <laughs> but yeah that's the only one little little thing that could be changed otherwise five stars next i want to mention table tops or work tops so i have these uh, from newer don't mind that i open it the other way and i use them all the time because once you have the backdrop if you don't have like table or working area where you put something on then tabletop or worktop will be essential for you and I have these two so this is black acrylic it's 60 times 60 centimeters big and it's glossy as you can see and also white acrylic also glossy also a little bit damaged because I'm using this for like two years already <laughs> but these are amazing because it's glossy so you can when you place the product on it you can create a little reflection there it's white and black so neutral colors you can use them as much as you want I shot already with that in my previous videos on YouTube so I'll look in the upper corner here so you can check out those videos it was a lipstick at home very simple I'm not sure if they still have this size but they have different sizes now definitely so you can buy them uh, links in the description also when it comes to tabletops oh, it's not here wait I have these two and it's again just acrylic sheet dirty these are like small I don't know exactly the size I think 30 times 40 or 50 or something um, links in the description once again uh, but these are amazing when you do swatches so when you are doing a makeup swatch or cosmetic swatch or something it's super easy to sit on table or somewhere do the swatch and then take it place it on the place where your camera is where your light is and everything so you don't have to you know bend down and do it all there so these are very handy and I also use them to block light or as a fill, as a reflection, you know, as a little bounce card, something. Plenty of use. So they are very handy. Very handy and good to have in your studio when you're shooting products. Now let's talk the actual props. You'll see I finally have them, most of them here. And we'll be talking about these ones. I picked these to show you because I think they are so versatile and something you should have when you're shooting products because white blocks are just so handy and they are also glossy so they have glossy finish it's kind of like acrylic finish they are sturdy there's no foam as if you browse through some products on online <laughs> anywhere really you'll find lots of them they look fantastic but then you see the material description and it says foam and I don't like to work with foam I like to work with something that's a little bit more you know sturdy so these are great they have like a little protection here on the bottom so you don't scratch anything with them and as you can see they are all same height yeah so you can really create any surface but they you can use them this way this way you know any way you really want and they come as a set i mean you can buy them individually uh, from the link that i will share in the description but uh, it's best to buy them as a set and they have also different colors but i chose white ones because i think they are the most versatile and i use them you know you can create a little like formation here with them or however you feel like it's going to help your arrangement or your products that you're trying to show off so definitely something you should have in your arsenal of props <laughs> let me say Vera this is all nice and neat but they are a little bit basic well here's my answer to you <laughs> these 
are not basic. These are my absolute favorite props to work with when it comes to shooting product photography. They are from a company called Matte Props. I'm so lucky I came across them. Bertie, the owner of the company that I get to know, he is an amazingly sweet person and always wants feedback and always he wants to improve and do just do just everything you know just so the clients and the photographers that use the props are the happiest so that's a big plus plus for me that he really cares and these props now let me break it down because they actually two sets here these big ones they are their usual collection so these are massive i mean massive and they are wooden and very heavy so <laughs> You don't have to be afraid that when you place it on the table, it's gonna fall out or something. They are really, really heavy, but that's good, you know, because we need the stability on the set when you're building a set, when you're placing your products there, you have to move around the lights and everything. It's good that they are stable. Now, this is probably one of my favorites. It's a, a relief panel, so it has all this texture. I place the products there, you know, shine a little sunlight and just make it all nice and interesting. So uh, these are just few. They have plenty, plenty, plenty on the website. These are just the ones I bought. I really like to use them, and especially like this hexagon as well. Uh, some of my recent product photography work was made with this, even though it doesn't look like that on a picture, but I use this prop. And this big circle, I mean, I have to put them down because they're really big. Almost didn't fit on the table. <laughs> This big circle is perfect. Now, these are all the big ones. So let me put them aside so we're not confused because what's left on the table, it's their new essential bundle. Let's see this little cute arch with this little podium. It actually fits in it, you see, so you can use it like that. These like circles, some blocks, steps, I hope they make more steps in the future, bigger sizes or bigger steps or, you know, all the stuff. You don't have to use it as a step, you can use it in some other way, perhaps. Blocks, half moon or half circle, these are all wooden and you see they have lovely, lovely smooth finish. And the best thing, you can paint it as well. So they all come just in a white color, but you can spray paint it or acrylic or oil paints or anything. I'm going to do it myself as well. I just wanted to show you how they are all nice and neat and beautiful all together, but I will paint them because I have some upcoming projects where I need red props and I don't have anything red here right now. So I'll just spray paint it with red. So link to this essential bundle as well as all other Oh, matte props is in the description you should definitely go check it out i think they are very well good priced there's one more company it's called moodelier they're in based in the usa and they have lovely props as well but i think they are just a little overpriced i mean you can have a look at their website if you want and you'll see that's why i like matte props because i think the prices are reasonable the material is amazing i mean it's wooden it's heavy you don't have to be afraid that it will fall over or anything paint them create different colors so many other choices you have and this is just few of them that i have and i'm planning on buying more because they are just amazing and i shot so many images with them already and i almost forgot i mean <laughs> That would be horrible there is a 15 percent discount code in the description so if you want to buy something from my props use that discount code for 15 percent off it's limited to use only once per customer so make it count one last pro tip <laughs> Maybe you didn't think about it. Uh, I certainly didn't, so if you did, you are more clever than I am. <laughs> but the best place to buy props for cosmetics product photography, especially if you're shooting a skincare, is actually aquaristic shops. So the shop where they sell stuff for aquariums, including the fish tank where you can shoot the Duncan shots, including some driftwood that you can use in the background somewhere or as a holder including 
corals, including sand that it's perfect to use with any skincare, you know, that it's meant to be for like summer protection with a UV or something. And also some rocks and pebbles and all that other stuff that you can definitely use as a props with your product photography, especially skincare, as I said. So yeah, that was my last pro tip. And that's it. But before I wrap up this video, I just wanted to mention that many props I'm using in my product photography images that you see on my website or anywhere on my Instagram, I make myself. So there's plenty I didn't buy, I made them. So let me know in the comments if you want to see a video in the future about how I made these props and how you can make them as well. You know, I can do some DIY home project video situation possibly yeah <laughs> let me know in the comments if you like this video don't forget to give it a like it really helps my channel and if you want to see more content from me hit the subscribe button with the little notification bell as well so you are notified when a new video is rolled out that's all from me thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you here next time bye